Welcome to another exciting episode of the Workshop Brew View. How are you doing today? My name is Jesse. My name is T. Today we're going to be actually reviewing a beer uh, from the Slow Brew Company out of San Luis or San Luis Obispo. Slow. S L O. That's S. Wait. S L O. Slow. The Slow Brew Company. Slow Brew. Um, today we're actually be trying Cali Squeeze. It's a blood orange Hefeweizen. Uh, Jesse, if you want to go ahead and tell them the can details, we'll, uh... Sure, so it's, um, decent can art, uh, nothing crazy, just your standard, uh, citrus on the can. Um, this is a, uh, 5.4 alcohol by volume. This is a 16 ounce. Um, it doesn't really say the IBUs or have any like crazy synopsis on the side of the can that gives you any, you know, insight into the, the brew process, which we like to see on, on a lot of our uh, craft brew, right? Right. But this one only says uh, bright citrus, unfiltered and refreshing. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to have summer in this can right now. Like mow your lawn. Like total mow your lawn. Um, and that would be the uh, motorized mower one because, you know, I am pushing with this one. Yeah, the, the get your grass stains on your new balance type. Right, right, absolutely. <laughs> um, without further ado, what we want to do is go ahead and pour this beer real quick. Uh, give you an idea after that of the smells and the taste and all those type of things. See, what's the best part about waking up? Well, let me show you. In your cup. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a beauty. So if you guys could direct your attention to the logo, you go ahead and see how this one pours. Right up here. It's uh, pink, Jesse. It's pink. You guys like pink? No, 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 no. I think I'm going to go with salmon. <laughs> I like salmon. You guys fishermen? I'm a fisherman. Angler, even. Here you go. You can pour the rest of that for yourself while you're doing that. I'm going to go ahead and talk about what we're looking at here. Uh, for one thing, you can tell I, I poured a pretty heavy head. Uh, and the top of the uh, head cam is actually showing you that there's not a lot of bubbles. It's more like a real high, fine froth. He's still learning. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on. And now you can start to see um, some of them pinks coming through. Looks totally like a grapefruit to me. Uh, it's funny because uh, from the, the, the bottom to the top in head cam, it looks pink. And when you look at the side profile on body cam, uh, it looks like a mangoish color almost with the light applied to it. Yeah, I see a lot of good carbonation happening in this beer. Um, a lot of the uh, bubbles that are coming up. Continuous small strains of bubbles uh, yeah. sporadically throughout the throughout the glass. They're not all the same, which is good when you look at a carbonation in a beer. You, you don't want to see all the same size bubbles, all the same size uh, frequency, we'll call it. Right, yeah. so this has a real nice carbonation to it. The head uh, is actually dissipating kind of quick. As you recall, we started out with like three fingers, and now we're down to about a finger of head. So yeah. before all but the effervescent goes away, let's go ahead and... <laughs> but if you pour it correctly, you're you're good to you. Uh, with no head. So <laughs> let's go ahead and smell this one. Wow. Yep. Grapefruit. Smells good. Smells like summer. Blood orange, grapefruit. What else are you getting out of that? Um, I don't I don't know that I necessarily get blood orange. Um, it's a blood orange Hefeweizen. I definitely get grapefruit. So I figured to have a heavier body because it is a Hef, it does seem like a lighter body for a half and i imagine we're not going to get all those robust flavors from the half we're probably going to get a lot of citrus it definitely looks like a super citrusy beer yeah so uh on the scale of uh one to five on a citrus what do you call this one Ooh, let's go five it's super citrusy yeah it smells like orange peel or lime peel or something <laughs> yeah from the place. standpoint of aroma i'm going to tell you that this thing just fell off the tree yeah it's 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 pretty <laughs> fresh all right let's go ahead and do the tasting Yeah, that's grapefruit. I don't know that I get a whole lot of blood orange. I mean, a mild grapefruit. Maybe that's blood orange I'm tasting, and I just don't know any better. Like ruby red grapefruit. Like, yeah. Not the not the yellow one that makes everybody pucker. Like the good one. Like the one you might actually eat in the morning or something with <laughs> yeah. breakfast. Yeah, the one you might spoon out. Yeah, yeah it's uh, I don't get a lot of hef uh, at all. No, no. I mean, typically with a hef of wise, then you think of like a wheat beer, right? Um not a big fan. This tastes pretty good. Definitely summer. It is, it's summer solstice. Solstice beer. It's definitely <laughs> a summer beer. And I give it two lawnmowers because I'm pretty sure you're gonna you can lawn, you know mow the lawn and still I, be. I'm pretty sure by the time I finish this beer, I'll be mowing a lawn somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely very light bodied. Not a lot of half. Definitely a lot of juice. 
Um, Cali Squeeze. Guys, this is a really good beer. Slow has done a, a, a fantastic job. It's not sour like you think of uh, grapefruits or uh, blood oranges or real tart. Not at all. Not at all. I'm a, a big naysayer when it comes to the sour beers. This is this is drinkable. So on that scale of uh, you know Bud Light being the center, are we going towards the skunks or are we going towards the pines? I don't think we're going towards either one of them. I think I'm headed for the palm trees <laughs> in the forest. <laughs> no coconuts in that one. Straight to the beach. Straight to the beach. <laughs> That's where I'm at with this one. I, I won't give it any coconuts, but I'll give it at least two summer times, three palm trees. I feel like that summertime song by uh, uh, what's his name, Will Smith or whatever. <laughs> Getting jiggy. With yeah, that, we that need one? not not that one. We need uh we need to have the summertime <laughs> song playing with this one. <laughs> so, All right, good. guys. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, Jesse, we drank a lot of Hefeweizens. Uh, where's this one sit in all the Hefeweizens we drank? I want to say on a scale of one to ten, this Hefeweizen sits somewhere around a seven. It's pretty tasty. It is really good. It's not traditional in that sense, but as far as just like I'm having a heft that I think is tasty, I'm right there with you. It's about a seven or an eight. From from a guy that doesn't really like grapefruit, that's a tasty beer. Well, I, it does say blood orange in all yeah. practical sense. It tastes more like grapefruit to me. <laughs> all right, guys. Make sure that you like and subscribe down below. We'll also include some more information down there in the in the body, uh, in the, the message area for you guys. We got more videos to come. Um, we have a lot of relationships with a lot of the um, the brew distributors for supplies and breweries. We do a lot of uh, collabs. field trips. Yeah, so field trips. Uh, look forward to seeing some um, workshop field trips coming soon, uh, as well as verses and a couple couple other type of issues or episodes that we'll be cutting. Yeah, I think that we should reach out to the um, the owners of Slow Brew and give a little uh, inside edition. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, as always, stay cool, drink responsible. Jesse? Stay frosty. <laughs>